Sally Gooden is a really fun tune to play on the banjo. It's played in the key of A so that we can get along with the fiddle players that only like it in the key of A. The song is a four measure progression that repeats over and over. We'll be thinking of it as if it's in the key of G even though we're actually sounding in the key of A because of the capo at the second fret. It is a fiddle tune so think of it as repeating each part, part A and part B, even though they're the exact same chords, there's a different melody that goes with each. If you've heard the song played by Earl Scruggs on this Foggy Mountain banjo album, the band is playing on the wrong beat as Earl comes in. And this can happen if you treat your first two notes as if they're beat one when they're actually on beat four. So it should be one, two, three, four, and one instead of one, two, three, four, one, and two. So the way I help people feel where the beat should be is to play some potatoes that go like this. So here's the main theme played high. Again, it begins on beat four. One, two, three. And that little ending, one and two and three and, that's a little theme you're gonna hear throughout the song. And here's an Earl sounding high B part. One, two, three. We'll then play a low break similar to what Earl played, again beginning on beat four. One, two, three. And his B part begins on beat four. One, two, three. I then go into a couple ideas that I got from Bill Knopf when I was taking lessons from him many years ago. And that begins right on beat one. One, two, three, four. Again, the B part begins on beat one. And it starts with a little melodic phrase. One, two, three, four. The next variation comes from ideas I heard J.D. Crow playing on his famous Rounder 44 album and specifically playing in the backup behind the fiddle. So his A part starts right on beat one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> His B part has some syncopation that might remind you of the tune Earl's Breakdown. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. This fifth variation I got from John Hickman playing along with the great fiddle player Byron Berline. And as he continued his break, he decided to go into some wild triplets. So here's my take on that. One, two, three, four. The B part also has some triplets, but includes some Don Reno style picking as well, where the thumb and index go down and up on string one. One, two, three, four. Remember your ultimate goal with all this is to be able to take these licks and swap them around to where you come up with a very spontaneous solo each time you play it. If you'd like a copy of the tab for all these variations, just see the video description below for some contact information. I now will perform all five variations as a complete song. If you need to slow it down, just use the YouTube features. <laughs> 